We started Turbo Sound in 1977, uh, John and myself, and uh, we had great success with the TMS range. I think the TMS3 was the, the dominant loudspeaker cabinet for most of the 80s. With Turbo Sound, we were very strong in the live area, and, uh, and we did sound for the Pink Floyd and uh, uh, you know, Roger Waters' solo tour, which I mixed. Um, Status Quo, Jackson Brown, Santana, all those big bands. When Turbo Sound was sold in, uh, I think it was the late 80s, um, I was part of the, the legal team that I think I was involved in that transaction. We had to reinvent ourselves, and that is what we've done. We re reinvented as Function One. We didn't really release any products till probably about 2000. Um, we spent some time coming up with new technology. It was rather good because we were, we were in charge of ourselves and we were able to pursue exactly as we wished. My background is a sound engineer, a live sound, um, yeah, since the uh, 1970s. Myself, I've been involved in um, the music industry since actually probably 1969. I started designing cabinets in 1971 because it became very obvious that we didn't, there, were, there wasn't any PAs to speak of. Certainly not musical PAs. There was pu always been public address with big horns for voices, but uh, at that time there was no real uh, full range PAs. So we set about building. Mm -hmm. And uh, in that time, I guess I've taught myself. <laughs> 